So you're looking for the perfect wedding dress for your body type, right? Congratulations, by the way. Generally speaking, you have two different body types, a horizontal type and a vertical type. And with vertical type, you hear words like long or short waisted or long torso versus short torso. I have a short torso long leg body type or short waisted. They can really be used interchangeably. I'll link my videos below on how to tell what type you are, but basically my ribs and my hips are almost touching. And to be honest, whatever wedding dress you choose, as long as you love it, it's going to be perfect. But I am here to help you kind of navigate what is going to be a little bit easier for your body type versus what is going to give you challenges or they might even be a little bit difficult to tailor. So my short torso friend, please make sure to subscribe because I do a lot of short torso styling videos. And now let's get started. So I'm going to start off with my own wedding dress experience. Okay, so here's my wedding dress. I felt really comfortable in it. And there was one key factor in this dress that made that possible. And that is the ruching all down the bodice. You notice it's like a slight mermaid or trumpet style wedding dress and just having it go a little bit longer. It's a little bit more hip hugging, but also that ruching camouflages everything really well to just make it look all one piece and it looked really really gorgeous so I highly recommend ruching when it comes to dresses I've talked about this in other videos just because ruching is one of my favorite details for camouflaging how close my hips are to my rib cage and this one I just felt amazing in the one thing I will say you can do whatever you want tailoring makes anything you want possible but something to keep in mind that makes it a little bit more of a challenge and that is this mermaid style so when I tried it on in the store it was a size couple sizes too big you know they put the little clips on you it was like no big deal but what I said was oh like how are we going to hem it because I'm 5'5 five five. and so in the store we figured out that we could hem it at the top of the mermaid and it would be fine and it actually made me look a lot more proportional it made my legs still look long but it didn't sort of make me look too top heavy when I'm not top heavy at all the thing with that is once it does come in your size it's a lot tighter it's not as easy to bring up the top of the mermaid over your hips because as you can see it almost comes right to my widest part of my hips and starts going out. So it's pretty high up for a mermaid. And so I would just be cautious when it comes to trying on trumpets or mermaid gowns, just because your legs are going to be longer. So it might hit you on a different spot than it was originally designed to. What I also liked about my dress is that the mermaid part was asymmetrical. So it wasn't ever creating a straight line across my body. It was never kind of cutting me into my torso and my legs. So it just kind of all flowed together and just looked really beautiful, if I say so myself. Another word of caution slash suggestion is I made a very conscious decision not to do a belt with this dress. At least when I got married, belts were all the thing. I feel like that was a trend made very popular by Say Yes to the Dress because it was a nice way to just add some more bling to the dress. And that was something I really didn't want because what waist belts do to us short-waisted ladies is it really cuts us off. We don't have a lot of room at our waist. Our waists are kind of right here and then they're either ribs or their hips. There's not a whole lot of room for a belt. And so again, try not to block your body in really distinct categories. If there's a seam at the waist, that to me is a really tough one for my body type just because that seam never actually lines up with my waist and it's really difficult to then get it tailored to line up with your waist perfectly especially if there's any lace around it or if there's any embellishment it, it just can get really complicated and really expensive to get it tailored a really beautiful option for you might be sleeves now if you're looking at lace sleeves or sheer sleeves any route of sleeves Here's my suggestion, three quarter sleeves. I think this is the most flattering sleeve length pretty much on anyone. I think this is a really perfect length for short torso body types because having the sleeves end a little bit above your wrist kind of keeps your arms from looking too long in proportion to your waist, right? Your arms are right next to your torso and if they look longer because your torso looks shorter, it could kind of misbalance you, but three quarter is perfect. It's really slimming to have your wrist showing. I don't know why, but it is. This this one, this one is tough. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get this to work for my body type, but I haven't found it yet. So unfortunately this has made it into the don'ts and it's very popular and it's very gorgeous and 
But let's talk about backless wedding dresses. Backless is especially challenging when you have a short torso because they are super long and they expect your waist to be a lot further down than it is. And so it ends at your hips, which is starting to go out, right? And so in general, you might get a shape that looks like this on your back when you're looking for this. This is definitely one of those situations where you cannot lose weight to get a different body type. If you're wondering why backless isn't working for you, it might be because of your body type and you can't do anything about it. It's literally your skeleton. But I can't break your heart too much without trying to give you at least a couple tips to help you make it work if you really, really want this. So the best I can say is to try to find a point on your own back where that is like the smallest part of your back right? And you don't want it to go any lower than that. Now remember there's a whole tailoring process and the dress that you get, they might, it might not line up. And so it might require extra tailoring, extra money, just keep all of that in mind. But if you can find the part on your back that is sort of the smallest and that's the part you want to highlight, then find a dress that gets really close to that area. And when I'm saying close, I mean really, really close. Don't try to make something happen that's just not working. There are so many wedding dresses out there, you can definitely find one that'll work. Obviously, I've been showing you some different options here and those numbers correspond to links down below in the description box. I highly recommend trying on things, even if it's not like the exact dress or the exact store you might wanna buy from, but it just can start to give you an idea of what type of dresses could work. Another kind of dress I love and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I talk about this non-stop because it's a real thing. High neck wedding dresses. These can be absolutely gorgeous. Think Meghan Markle. But the reason I love this style is because with your short torso, you have to really understand color blocking. Color blocking can happen in color, but it can also happen in texture and detail. Two different sections that you really have to keep in mind. You have to think of the upper part of your torso and your waist slash lower torso. If you want to appear longer, taller, and leaner, then make sure your fabric is going going over both of those sections. Now I get that might be covering up some areas that maybe you don't wanna cover up, but there are some really beautiful lace options. But kind of on the reverse side of that is just kind of a word of caution about strapless. Strapless is going to cut you off right here. And yes, I know I had a strapless dress, but remember the thing about my dress that I really liked was how long it made the rest of my torso look. So it kind of all balanced out in the end. The one key thing you need to try to avoid if you want to look at your longest and leanest, remember when I talked about the two sections of your torso, the upper part and the lower part? Well, if you take a strapless dress, you're cutting it into two. Don't cut your torso again. It's just too little space to be cutting up into too many different sections. And don't forget, you can always play around with your hair and makeup to make yourself look longer too. But on a similar note though, a word of caution about strapless dresses that are kind of like off the shoulder, like kind of a droopy off the shoulder because that will take that line that you're going right across your bust here and it will cause it to droop a little more. And again, we don't have that much room right here to afford a droop like that. So it can work. Again, don't draw any more lines down the rest of your body because it could really throw off your proportions, but there are definitely ways to do it. Now, if you've had a wedding and you have a short torso, please let us know in the comments down below what your dress was like and what maybe you would have done differently, what you loved about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.